Legendary Australian actor Terry Norris dies aged 92. Mr. Norris became one of Australia's most seasoned actors with around 80 screen credits to his name, thanks to his parts in shows like Police Shop and Jack Irish. Actor and Victorian Labour Party politician Terry Norris has passed away at the age of 92. Originally from Richmond, Virginia, Norris was going to follow in his father's footsteps as a boilermaker before he caught the acting bug. The Tivoli Theatre in Melbourne was where he got his start before he, like many of his contemporaries, migrated to the UK. When Norris first moved to Britain, he had a hard time breaking into the television and film industries, but he did meet the love of his life, fellow actor Julia Blake. I saw this individual walk in, extremely tall, and I thought he maybe looked slightly haughty, a bit like Mr. Darcy in Pride and Prejudice. Blake said on the ABC show Talking Heads in 2008, one could feel his charisma from a distance. After moving back to Australia, Norris tried his hand at radio, TV, and even stand-up comedy. He has recurring roles on shows including Bellbirds, Matlock Police, and Homicide, so you might recognize him. I was initially considered fairly English, then there was a sort of changeover, and I was being cast as Aussies, he said to the ABC in 2008. In 1980, he received a Silver Logie for Best Supporting Actor for his role as Senior Sergeant Eric O'Reilly in the TV series Police Shop. In 1982, Norris made a surprising career shift and entered Victorian state politics, first as the Labour member for Noble Park and later for Dandenong. Even though he had been an actor for 30 years, he admitted in his first speech to Parliament that acting had not prepared him for politics. His statement to the House of Representatives in May 1982, all honorable members would agree that there is not much fiction, fantasy, or make-believe in the everyday duties of a member of this place is a good example. The King's Daughter from 2022 was his last film appearance, however he remained acting into his 80s and minities thanks to his recurring part in the Jack Irish series, Norris' son-in-law, filmmaker Robert Connolly, who directed the film Paper Planes with him in 2014, said that his grandfather was handsome in addition to being an amazing actor and politician. I will miss Terry's many insights into the world and life whether a very complicated take on Australian politics, an optimistic labor man who always liked watching their return to power, or a post-weekend debrief on his almost faultless footy-tipping prowess, he said in a statement. By making paper planes, he won over a whole new set of devotees. As we were making the movie, he was so much fun to work with. Former Victorian Health Minister Martin Foley paid homage to the beloved actor, calling him as a gentleman and a tremendous mentor. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video if you enjoyed it.